Welcome to the Methods in Enzymology webcast series, Volume 1, The History of MIE. MIE is one of the most highly respected publications in the field of biochemistry. Each volume is eagerly awaited, frequently consulted, and praised by researchers and librarians alike. Methods are the most important thing uh, in science in many ways. Uh, if you want to learn how to do something, the most difficult thing to do is to evolve the method in which to do it. MIE was first published in 1955, when founding editors Sidney Colwick and Nathan Kaplan described the methods for the assay and purification of enzymes. Nate was the, the chairman of my department, the biochemistry department at, at uh, Brandeis, and he was always uh, looking sort of for what's new, what's happening in biochemistry. And they put together, the, he and, and Colwick put together the first uh, volumes. I think they started out with the first five volumes. They had a plan for five volumes, and it just kept growing. Today, with over 450 volumes available, both in print and online via Science Direct, the series contains material that is still relevant and is an essential publication for researchers in all fields of life sciences. In 1987, the editorial guidance was passed on to Mel Simon and John Abelson. When we started Methods in Enzymology and saw that there were already 150 volumes and more were coming on, we had this notion that you'd walk into a library, and in fact I did do that. I was in Australia once at a marine biological station, and these guys just loved methods in enzymology. They were isolated. And at the time it wasn't easy to get uh, information and material. And you walked into the library and faced this big green wall of methods in enzymology, just hundreds of volumes all sitting there, and they were used. In 1990, volume 182 published, and the guide to protein purification went on to be one of the top-selling MIE volumes of all time. This September, a completely revised edition of this classic volume will publish under the editorial guidance of Richard Burgess and original editor Murray Deutscher. We thought there should be a guide to protein purification, and we selected Murray Deutscher, a really great enzymologist, to do this. Deutscher did a wonderful job of putting together uh, the authors uh, for the original uh, Guide to Protein Purification. In 2002, the entire collection of MIE volumes became available online via Science Direct. The notion of having access to uh, all of the literature, all the methods, all of the protocols uh, uh, um, at any time that you want it, 24-7, uh, it's just fantastic. I, I, I can't get over it. When I sit down, for example, now to write something or to think about something, press a couple of buttons and you've got everything there. You want some detail, some arcane detail that you, one of the old volumes of Methods and Enzymology, boom. And uh, it's just a tremendous thing. I think it's wonderful. Methods and Enzymology, the critically acclaimed laboratory standard for more than 40 years, is still going strong. Don't miss any of these 2009 volumes. One of the questions that, I was always, that always intrigued me was how could we do a series with 450 volumes? And then it occurred to me that, that nobody ever runs out of cookbooks. If you go to any, any store, there's always a new cookbook and there are always new recipes. And the, the, the methods and enzymologies in a lot of ways are the same kind of thing. What you want to do is, when you're working in a lab, you want to have a guide that's going to tell you how to go through these complicated procedures. And you want that to be written by somebody who's been there before, knows what the pitfalls are, knows what you have to look for. The amount of work that goes into doing some of this uh, research is just so enormous that if you get off on the wrong foot, you can make an awful mess. And uh, um, so methods in enzymology is just that kind of uh, situations, so the Julia Childs, the, the Procter & Gamble or Betty Cocker or, or whatever type of well-tested, tried and true way of, of, of making things happen. Uh, and uh, it's been extremely successful because of that and uh, there probably will be no end to the number of volumes <laughs> that will continue to be coming out because there'll be no end to new methods and new ways of doing things. Yes, we should have called it Joy of Enzymology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for watching The History of MIE. Visit our website to view additional webcasts on forthcoming MIE volumes.